y'all happy thursday i'm reporting live from the minnesota state capitol here in st paul minnesota i hope everyone's having a lovely day the weather is beautiful the sun is shining bright opportunity is um out in the atmosphere for your taking so i hope everyone's having a blessed day well like i said i'm here at the state capitol um, i have a meeting here or i guess multiple meetings whatever i'm here for a reason at the state capitol so i actually started doing everything i was like i might as well show you all what's going on you know so here's the minnesota state capitol it actually looks very similar to all of the other capitals i've been to so florida and dc um, which is pretty cool to notice um, that similarity in a completely different new state but yeah minnesota state capitol is actually pretty nice here quick look around and they actually have this really nice uh, thing on the roof I don't know if you can see it but that gold um, like horse and war figurine kind of sorta so that's actually pretty cool but yeah I'm here at the state capitol so you're here at the state capitol I'm gonna try to capture some footage as I'm going throughout my experience here in between meetings and stuff like that but yeah Again, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and do that. I'm going to have a couple of new things coming on my channel pretty soon. So make sure you're subscribed and you have clicked the bell for the notifications coming up soon. But let's do this. Minnesota State Capitol. but I forgot to record that but um yeah there's some history about the Supreme Court um they actually only have seven justices right now at one point they had nine at one point they had three and five so that the numbers are dependent on population so the numbers increase when population increase and they decrease whenever population decrease so it's a cool thing to know Major General James Shields. Either he did. Served in the Mexican War. Okay, okay. Let's see what this guy did. Feeling like my true Olivia Pope self in here. John B. Sanborn. ceiling is actually really nice and a little bit higher than the other ones that I'm used to. Oh, this painting is, um, I don't remember what it's called, but I've seen that painting before. William, oh, oh they don't turn the lights off. I'm going to be back downstairs where I'm supposed to be. Oh, that probably means we're about to start. Yes, yeah, so I really should go back down, but before I go back down, in the house chamber for how to record this too but this is the house chamber so this is where they all the house does all their voting and stuff yeah okay gotta go brb and he's discussing the individual's rights with them now who has both a few wealthy landowners there as well as a poor slave girl really stressing the significance of all all right i'm so tired it's another person i don't know who that guy is but oh andrew mcgill so tired. Ready to go home. I'm oh, so tired. Let me get out of here for these people getting me out. Olivia Pope in a bed. <laughs> Last view. Oh, that's a nice view. This is a nice little view. It's a very Washington DC-ish. If you look here, it's very nice here. Could low key live here. Not gonna drink it though, but yeah, 
I actually see people that I don't feel like talking to. I've been talking all day. So I'm gonna try to make my way um, through the side. Dang, I low-key think they're like kind of close behind me. I'm just gonna keep walking. <laughs> I'm just so tired. Oh shoot, he's calling me. <sighs> Alright y'all, so he called me. <laughs> Look at this pretty view. That's really nice. I'm not gonna lie, this state is not half bad. I see why people come here and stay. But anyways, yeah, he caught me. So I just had to network a little bit more. Which, don't get me wrong, networking is amazing. You get so many like opportunities that you never know about and then you meet people that you would probably never meet. So networking is great, do it. But after a couple of hours, my mouth be hurting like, I'm trying to talk to people all the time. Dang, these other people just stop to talk. I'm trying to talk to them too. I'm gonna try to see if I can just walk by. Oh Lord, here they come. BRB again, y'all. All right, so like I was trying to say, hopefully no more interruptions because I'm actually right at my car. But actually they're right behind me. Let me hurry up. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Ooh, but yeah. Like I was trying to say, networking is amazing. You can meet so many people, um, job opportunities, internships. Honestly, whatever you're looking for, you could get through networking. They're coming. I'm going to scoop down. They're going to talk down here. So. <laughs> Dang, what if they parked right next to me, bro? I'm going to be hot. Shh. Okay. Wow, they stopped next to the car. Hopefully, they just don't see me. But anyways, um, yeah. I've always heard it's not who you know. Wait, wait, wait. That's not the thing. It's not what you know. It's who you know. So networking is definitely a very great experience. So being able to be at the Capitol today um, in and out of these meetings and meeting people and networking with very, very, very uh, up there people was pretty cool. So yeah, that was my experience at the Capitol. I look a mess. It's been a long day. Been at work. Then came here. So I'm exhausted. But I'm filled with motivation and opportunity. But um, yeah, so I'm about to do this drive home. About a 30 minute drive or so, Lord have mercy. But yeah, great day. Glad to have shared my capital, my experience of um, What I was trying to say before I was rudely interrupted by my phone shutting off is that networking is a great opportunity to uh, meet new people figure out like opportunities and internships and different things that may be out there in the world for you to discover without you even knowing so although it may be exhausting go ahead and network you know get out there do your thing whatever whatever but yeah that's all i really wanted to say i just read, you know my phone shut off so i was like dang i gotta do this when i get home which now i'm home i'm also very tired so girl about to call it a night but yeah great experience i hope you enjoyed uh visiting the minnesota capital with me and yeah until next time see y'all later